All right, we're heating things up back here in the kitchen. I'm joined with uh, Mark Georgie from Around Town Catering, yes. and you got pork chops for we us do. today, huh? What we did was just to make time a little easier. Right? What you do is we roasted the pork one that we had going out with over here, okay. and so I had some pork chops cut off it. So what we're gonna do? All we're right. gonna make an edamame slaw. Okay, edamame is just a what is it? It's before they mature the soybeans. Yeah. They get them before. You can get them at sushi restaurants. You get them Delicious. frozen, fresh. They're wonderful. They're really good for you. So we have red cabbage, uh, green cabbage. We're gonna throw some celery, shredded carrots. We got red peppers. Okay. You have cauliflower, ginger, some jalapenos, some uh, scallions, and of You've course. Got big chunks of ginger there, right? Well, yeah, okay. it's gonna be really nice. Yeah, right. it's gonna be bold. Uh -huh. Very good. There's your edamame. You have a couple of those. <laughs> I'll you just have, eat these they're very good. you. You go on. Right, so you got <laughs> olive oil to coat. Okay. May as well throw the pork chops on. Where so we're that doing was this. just a little olive oil. Yep. Okay. These, all you're going to do is get grill marks on them, really bring them up temperature for you. Okay, so a little sesame oil. But that oil. adds some flavor, doesn't it, when exactly. you put that on? Exactly. It's going to be really so good. good. And now you can serve it over or on the side. Okay. You have a slaw. There's rice wine vinegar. Okay, very, very simple. Yeah, you put a good bit in there. Oh, yeah. Yep. You're, you're dressing it like you would a salad, basically. Okay, and I'm going to throw a little honey in there. It's a uh, roasted garlic infused honey. A little sweetness. That's now, what be, is that? That's honey infused with garlic. It's wow. a honey garlic. Mm, okay. So these, you're just going to go like that. And bring those up to temperature. Mix these around. And those are already cooked, so you can use these tongs yeah, for yeah. multiple mix things. Yeah, sure. But anyway, this, that is, I mean, that is so simple. It's like tossing a salad, oh basically. This is really smelling good oh, in yeah. here, too. And you just go like this. Those are up to temperature. Take this, there's a cucumber and a piece of spring mix, and dip it in there real quick. Oh, yeah? Dip it in that little dressing right here. I just whipped right, one so together. What's, it, what's in your I dressing? I made a quick vinaigrette out of olive oil, a little sesame oil, agave, mm. um, a little mm. salt and pepper. That was it. That's good stuff there. Oh, okay. yeah. And it's quick and light <laughs> for summertime. Okay, so there's your pork chops. Now you can either serve it on the side or over. It just depends on what you want to do. Okay. But it's a very, very good dish. I love the idea of roasting it first. Though. Yeah, and you get all kinds of flavors on it. And that stuff here, try a little taste of that. Just on your finger. They're, it's wonderful. It's hot? No, it's not really. Stegan no, no, honey no, no, garlic. Don't, don't believe I don't it. know about it's this. It's not that bad. <laughs> but anyway, that is what we do with pork chops and edamame slaw. It's just really, really it good. It makes for a beautiful plate, plate too. It's, it's, it's just beautiful. bright and colorful. I've heard it called rainbow slaw, things like that. But this one is just so easy. You can put whatever vegetables you like in there. That's what I did. Okay. I like every one of those vegetables that went in there I love. So it works out really well. And uh, with the pork and the garlic, it just has a real good flavor to it. So okay. It's uh, nice. Jay cooked the pork chops for me. We have some dreamsicle cake for you over there. Oh, oh. The sandy good. med. I got to go, go eat. There you go. Let's send this over to you. You got it. Take it away.